So this is my next project for fall. I got this pillow. Here's the insert for it, brand new, very long. This is what it looks like. Still has the tags on it from DKNY, Donna Karen, New York made this pillow and they put it in the dumpster. So this is what they did to it. They split it right there. It has a nice zipper so you can wash it. It is like a tweed pattern, really nice. Got these little foo-foos on the end. So what I'm gonna do, there's a little DKNY on it. What I'm gonna do is sew this up first. Once I've got it sewn up, then I'm putting a piece of fabric over the top of this and I'm gonna have words on it that I'm gonna sublimate that are gonna say, happy fall, y'all. And I'm dyeing it right now to be this color, this gray color right here. So I will bring you back and let you know what it looks like after I get the rip sewn in and then we'll go to the next stage. So this is the pillow that I found in the dumpster. Remember, I took the pillow out of it and it's the DKNY that I found in the dumpster and it was ripped down through here. So I took the insert out because it has a zipper and I sewed this up. That's the only way you could sew it because it does have a lining under it, which is good. And then I took a piece of uh, painter's um, like tarp, painting tarp fabric, cut it up and then I dyed it a black so that it would come out kind of gray. And I want what my, what I wanted to do, what my intention was, was to match this gray here. And it does, it does a good job of it. And it says fall harvest pumpkins. It's just an old beat up sign that I took a picture of. And then I printed it out and then I sublimated it onto this fabric. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is get this on here really good. I don't know if I'm going to sew it or if I'm going to use fabric glue one way or the other. I'm gonna get it on there and then I'm gonna fill it up with the filling and show you what it looks like. But here's the cute little tassels. And I just think that instead of throwing it in the garbage, I think we made something really cute with it. So I'll bring you back as soon as I get it all filled up so you can see the final touch. Okay, so we are on the pillow. We have the pillow stitched up. We have the top piece that I'm going to put over the hole ready to put on the pillow. Now I'm using this um, adhesive called Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. And I'm going to, this is only a couple dollars this stuff I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron this onto this and then I'm going to be able to iron it onto the pillow and it's a no sew deal you do not have to sew and it stays on forever so I'm going to iron this half and then I'm going to iron the rest of it um, because it comes this wide so it it the the directions say just to hold it on your sections for two seconds so I'm going to hold it on here for two seconds all the way down and then um, I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like. So here we are. Um, we have heated this, the heat and bond. There's actually glue under there and we have heated it on the back of the picture that's gonna go on here. Here's the slit that we sewed up that they had in the dumpster. I'll and this is what we're gonna cover it with. And so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna peel the paper off and we're gonna glue this down. And it's just gonna be a matter of peeling the paper off, sitting in the heat on it, and you're good to go. And I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like. So here we are peeling that off. And when we peel that off, it has a glue under it. So the other side that we tacked down first had glue on it. And now peeling this off also has glue on it. I overlapped it right there. So I have it positioned exactly where I want it to be on the pillow. The next thing we're going to do is go over it with the iron. 
until it presses down, only about eight seconds. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so the heat and bond did hold it down. It is nice and secure all the way down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go around the outside of all this and ravel it out so it looks very shabby chic. And then I'm gonna put the stuffing back in it and show you what it looks like. So here is the final pillow. It has these cute little tassels on it. And then it has this distressed piece that we put on here. It's a really nice fabric. It is DKNY. Here's your zipper. You just unzip this and your pillow just flops right out. You can wash it if you want. Totally machine washable. There's the back side of it. It has this pretty brown and then this grayish color. And that is why I chose the painter's tarp gray and dyed it gray so that it would tie in with the gray stripes. It says fall harvest, pumpkins, you pick. And I just, I chose a distress piece because I loved the sign. And so I just made this to go with it. I thought it matched pretty good and I think it's pretty cool. So if you would like this um, pillow to be in your next shipment or you would like to pay shipping on this, it's free other than the shipping to the first person that comments. And thank you for everything.